strong and thrive.
Come out, my son, and fight for me! You all right? Be more careful.
Everyone's doing great! is corrupted. The soil reeks of decay, and even the nearby plants have wilted. Where are the villagers? The dusk patrollers didn't receive any requests for help. Look at the mess, and the half-open doors. The villagers must have fled in a hurry. The ground here is exactly the same as the great fields in Rihab. Someone must have been performing corruption magic here for a long time. Maybe even a few years. So if we don't completely clear out the corruption, the places we found would end up like this too. The forest, labyrinth, and even Lunadorf would all end up like this. Ah! Curses! This is unforgivable! Is Eomir going to sacrifice the whole village just to accomplish his goals? The most important thing now is to clear out corruption. Lawson, please stay calm. We might be able to find some clues here. Even a little helps. Villagers have been plagued by corruption for days. Eventually, as the corruption spread, they had to leave their homes. The village ended up looking like what we see now. Eomir knew all along, but chose to turn a blind eye. He used the reputation of a sage to calm the villagers, but allowed things to unfold. He is truly a disgrace to the name of a sage. Judging from the dates on the diary, the corruption started a long time ago. This may have been the first place to be affected. Things might have been different if the dust patrollers had known earlier. That rascal! What does he take lives for? He and the Adamant Syndicate actually started corruption right in a place where villagers live. Does he see both the forest and its inhabitants as mere pawns to be sacrificed for his aims? However, Commencing action is still within our grasp. We need to stop Eomir. Are you trying to cleanse the entire village in one go? Given your present condition, your body might struggle to cope with such intense magic expenditure. How could you? Magister, Chippy may not know much about magic, but as you're familiar, Chippy will support your decision. Chippy! It is our mission to trust the Magister and protect him whenever we can. Ah, <sighs> Chippy. If anything, use my magic too. I am your familiar and you can draw power from me. I never want to see you in pain again.
<laughs> the one responsible for the corruption is right here in front of you. And yet you're holding back. Young mage, don't try to use your limited knowledge to underestimate an immortal graveborn. That's rude. He is right. The Graveborns linger between life and death, belonging neither to the dawn nor to the night. How can they possess the power of life? Corruption. Life. Resurrection. The trees surrounding the village, where corrupted roots entwine, wilt, and wither. Meanwhile, the Graveborns, who shouldn't have the ability to resurrect, keep coming back. I get it. You are stealing the life force of the Dark Forest. You mean they draw life from the surroundings through the corrupted roots and channel it back into themselves? Precisely. This is why Eomir sought to join forces with the Adamant Syndicate and corrupt the Lucent Tree. He's planning to seize the gift bestowed upon the forest by Mesate. A long and enduring life. How come you don't seem surprised at all by this conclusion? Well, it seems that occasionally, there are some bright minds among the living. Well, let me continue savoring your struggle. Come now, you think I'd use my full strength against weaklings like you? Hold on, I hear something. I hear the sound carried by the wind. Eomir is leading the Thorn Guards to the Lucent Tree. He intends to implore Masate for divine blessings, asking for the eradication of all corruption. We've been tricked. She's here to hold us back so Eomir can corrupt the Lucent Tree. I do appreciate smart individuals. But as mere mortals, it's better for you to be dumb. Watch out, she's about to attack. Yomir, you hired goons to eliminate your opponents. Blame the outsiders. And under the guise of the ritual, you're corrupting the Lucent Tree. Unforgivable. Nonsense! Get rid of these traitors! <laughs> the corruption of the forest has long been removed. Your evil plan ends here. Wilders of the Dark Forest, open your eyes! He is our real enemy. Love some worms. <laughs> Doing great. 
Aaron and Laika have joined forces with the Outsiders to disrupt the sacred ceremony under the Lucent Tree. Go stop them! Yes, sir! Ladies and gentlemen, I'm the captain of the Dusk Patrollers. This is a diary we found from a northern village. It was left behind by a wilder. His village has been corrupted and is devoid of life. Please take a look at this diary. It is written in blood and tears. Why doesn't Master Eomir come here anymore? Where are the Thorn Guards? Alas, I must leave. Farewell, my village. I know you made a vow to take on the form of thorns and guard the forest when you joined the Thorn Guards. Tell me, why did Eomir stand by and watch our beloved people lose their homes to the corruption without intervening? A Dusk Patroller and an Outlander? I don't believe your words! Why would Master Eomir corrupt the sacred Lucent Tree? Misata bestowed upon us the Lucent Tree, a sight for generations of children to behold. The sacred tree is eternal, but with the corruption spread throughout the entire forest, Eomir is able to corrupt the Lucent Tree itself and seize its life force for himself. Amy has gained power, status, and your trust. However, he has reached the twilight of his life. There is only one thing in the world that makes a man willing to give up power and fame. That's eternal life. Eternal life? Dear members of the Thorned Faction, please, take a look at our Lucent Tree. Look at its roots the spring beneath its shade, and the leaves that once sparkled like stars. What has become of them now? It's not we who corrupted the Lucent Tree, but Eomir, in whom your trust lies. I will no longer address him as a sage, for he is not a sage, but a sinner of the forest. Scion of the Lucent Tree? Yes. I am the Scion of the Lucent Tree. Now, I'd like to tell everyone what I heard from the Lucent Tree. I heard its prayers tainted by corruption, filled with sorrow for our blindness. Yet, it persisted in seeking Masate's forgiveness. Masate above? Did you really hear the voice of the Lucent Tree? Master Emir? Is it true what they just said? Nonsense! There's no such thing as the Scion of the Lucent Tree. In the name of the Thorn, I command you to take them down. But... but... Misate gave us eyes to see right and wrong, and ears to hear the true voices of the forest. Children of the forest, I implore you to see and hear the truth, and use your weapons against the true enemy of the Dark Forest, Eomir. Eron. Cecia, finish them. Eomir, this is the last time. Come out, my servant, and fight for me! Cecia, why did you stop? I gave you the power. You can't possibly lose. How foolish. What did you just say? Our scheme has been revealed. We can no longer drain the life force of the Lucent Tree. While I haven't obtained everything as desired, the coveted portion of power is already within my grasp. Tell me, what reason remains for me to lower myself and assist a mere mortal? Are you going to break our agreement? 
A hypocrite like you dare to command an immortal Graveborn? I'm done with your tedious farce. Lucent Tree, I'm sorry that we weren't able to protect you. No. I only said that because the situation was dire. Everyone is so convinced that I am the Scion of the Lucent Tree, so I had to use the title and Masate's name to get them to trust you and like her. In the end, I used Masate's name in vain to deceive my fellow Wilders. But I shall shoulder guilt. I know there is little hope, but do you think you can cleanse the Lucent Tree? No! Stop! You've used too much magic along the way! The Lucent Tree holds Masarte's divine power. Clearing all of its corruption would demand a huge amount of magic. Your life could be in danger. I will not concede on this matter. Let's explore other options. No matter how tough it gets, Chippy and I will always be with you. It's all right, Miss Hammy. You've done us a favor in protecting the Lucentry. We can't ask for more. Your kindness is something even the most beautiful starlight cannot repay. Lawson, say something. No. Lawson, you know everyone has done their best. I didn't give my all. I could have done better. But now all possible solutions have been tried. He has tried his hardest. You've put in effort, and Aaron as well. But I... I couldn't help it all. But if even Magister Merlin can't cleanse the Lucent Tree, who else is there to save the forest? What did you just say? What did you just call him? Magister Merlin? Are you really Magister Merlin? The greatest mage of all time? Every place I've journeyed to has tales of Magister Merlin. That explains how you can cleanse corruption. Why didn't you tell us earlier? We could have hosted you more fittingly. Oops! I didn't mean to say anything. Please forgive me. I have no idea. The tides of fate may yet turn. The Lucent Tree is not yet fully corrupted. Your timely intervention prevented the complete usurpation of its power. Brian! Granny Donnie! I too am a wind whisperer. Sorry, children. I'm late. Merlin, if we had found you sooner, the Dark Forest might not have become like this. I condemned Eomir before. Now I realize I have also neglected my duties. Alas. Bryon must have told you that Arden has secluded himself in the Verduso Mountains. Legend has it that in the Verduso Mountains, there exists a way to directly beseech Masate. It's a legend upheld among the sages, and Arden likely ventured to the Verduso Mountains for this. Hmm. That old man left the affairs of the Dark Forest unattended, just to go on a wild goose chase. Alas, I've fared no better than he. We're getting old. Maybe the responsibility of looking after the forest can't be carried on our old shoulders anymore. Magister Merlin, may I lead the way for you? Arden's protracted silence has become a source of concern among the Wind Whisperers. Indeed. I'm glad you're still willing to help us, Magister Merlin. We are so grateful for your help. So next up is the Vedusa Mountains. We need to find Grandpa Arden and see if he has a way to save the Lucent Tree. Let's go!
Everything in this village has come back to life. Is it because we couldn't stop Ermia? The life force in this land was taken away a long time ago. Even if we stop Ermia from corrupting the Lucent Tree, I'm afraid. Let's find a way to fix everything and save the Lucent Tree.
Everyone's doing great!
was a total success. Well, you're not even worth getting up for.
Join and thrive. Come out, my son, and fight for me! Well, victory is deserved. Come out, my son, and fight for me! You'll get what's coming to you! Everyone's 
doing great. Come out, my son, and fight for me! Well, victory is deserved.
for sale. Buy four, get one free. What is the next quest?
Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved.
Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved.
Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. for this.
yet another stroke of genius. Hey, you all rock the medicine.
Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Don't hurry! Your delivery's coming up! Uh, quick! More earth! Well, victory is deserved. You'll get what's coming to you! Come out, my son, and fight for me! Well, victory is deserved. Rest strong and thrive. 
Come out, my son, and fight for me! Everyone's doing great! This is the Fiduso Mountains. We must find Master Arden as soon as possible. Well, Master Arden is known to be a free-spirited soul and doesn't like to stay in one place for too long. The message that I sent received no response. I do not know what has happened. Hey, what's wrong, Brian? It's not like you to start a journey with such discouraging words. You know what they say. If you follow the water, you'll eventually end up in the sea. Sometimes you just have to let nature take its course. Come on, don't look so depressed. Give me a smile. Forget it. I don't expect you to understand. Lawson's only trying to comfort you, Brian. He's afraid you'll get yourself into a tizzy. In reality, he's worried too. Look at his ears. They've been shaking this whole time. No way. I've noticed that too. But it's not only his ears. His tail has been quivering also. What? Stop speaking nonsense. You're teasing me also? All right, let's leave it at that. We'd better hurry and get out of here. The village of Taran is just ahead. Master Arden visits the village occasionally, and the villagers might know...
Hornleaf Bear seems to have come to its senses. I see no hostility in its eyes. Why are its eyes wet? It's not crying, is it? It regrets trying to hurt us. It wasn't its intention. This Hornleaf Bear is just like the creatures from before. Bryon, could you have Alona check the perimeter? I'm afraid there may be corrupted roots in the area. Of course. I hope all is well in Taran Village. There are many people there. If the corruption reaches the populace, the consequences would be unimaginable. All right, let's keep moving. Well, victory is deserved.
for me. Come out, my son, and fight for me! What's the situation? It seems that the corruption has spread even here. At this rate, the Veduso Mountains are done for. Hmm. I'm getting a weird feeling. I'm sensing other magical forces at work. They're battling the chaos magic. It could be Master Arden. He may be nearby. Well, the magic I'm sensing is quite gentle. 
Mr. Arden's magic should feel more steadfast and unyielding. Gentle. Could it be... You all don't know Master Arden like I do. He's always been gentle and kind, to me at least. He never yelled at me or anything. Remember, Brian? I remember everything. Apparently, you do not. Master Arden's beard, eyebrows, and horns all bore the brunt of your antics. In the end, he opted to conjure vines to dangle you upside down from an oak tree. All right, can we not speak of things that happened two centuries ago? I admit I was a mischievous child. Haven't I changed? Have you now? Don't speak so high and mighty with me. I remember when you broke Master Arden's old staff. I do not recall that. Well, I recall everything. Besides, we rabbits are more rambunctious when we're young. Lyca was the same. If you don't believe me, go ask Granny Donnie. I can see that. I'm so sorry, Lyca. I didn't mean to bring up your embarrassing childhood stories. Please forgive me. Until we meet up with Master Arden, don't let me hear another word out of you. Or there will be consequences, Lawson. Yes, of course. Not another word out of me. Quickly now, let's hurry. We're almost at Taran Village. This should be no problem now. Can't you see? I'm brewing medicine. Terrible black stains have suddenly appeared on the earth, which was quickly followed by a number of people experiencing hallucinations. The whole village is terrified as a result. However, this is the perfect time for me to prove myself. There's an old saying in Veduso. The river likes to go west, but it flows east to the best. Do you know what that means? You are quite learned, aren't you? Yes, it means that life is unpredictable. If I can create a herbal cure for the hallucinations that have been going around, I'll be the hero of Taran Village. Then, Naya's parents will have to accept my marriage proposal to their daughter. Naya and I have always dreamed of having our wedding at Lover's Wish. I'm not going to let her down. All right, Outlander. Leave me alone, I'm busy. Oh no! Blessed Miss Sarte, what's going on here? Outlander, are you passing through? You shouldn't be in the Veduso Mountains at this time of year. Look at the land! What are these horrible black stains? They appeared suddenly overnight. Even the village's most experienced apothecaries are at their wit's end about what they are. A lot of people have been babbling nonsense about this since they appeared. My daughter Kia says there's a black radish that's bigger than she is. I've been picking herbs all my life, and I've never seen a black radish. child is very sick. Let's go somewhere else and take a look. I'm sorry. I'm not very good at talking with strangers, especially when they're a little strange. They're like those villagers in Rihem who ate the grapes. Everything they say is nonsensical. The few people I spoke with who are still sensible do not know where Master Arden is. All they can recall is that he visited Taran Village once, maybe half a year ago. 
That information is not very helpful to us. I did notice something strange, though. Rain. This rain. Now that you mention it, it's been raining since we got into the village. Is it the rainy season here in the Veduso Mountains? The problem is that the rain is warm. What's so strange about warm rain? We're in the mountains. The temperature should be much lower. This is not ordinary rain. This is caused by magic. That's right. Hopefully whoever's doing this isn't our enemy. By the way, has anyone seen Brian? He's over there, waving at us. Let's go and meet with him. Ma'am, what happened to your child? She was fine before. Suddenly this morning, she became delirious and started screaming about being thirsty. She drank three buckets of water. Her stomach is bulging at this point. And she's still thirsty. My neighbor's son is the same way. He was drinking water like crazy and couldn't be stopped. Someone had to knock him out to stop him. As far as I can tell, his delirium started yesterday, and his thirst symptoms started today. These two things may be related somehow. Do you think that something may be wrong with the food here? Maybe it's been corrupted. There's no time to lose. Let's investigate the food and herbs nearby. The herbs are normal, too. Just bitter. Oh, you're not a child, Lawson. Stop putting everything in your mouth. That herb is a laxative. Why didn't you say so earlier? No need to worry. He has consumed stranger there. Curses. I'll let this go this time because of what's happening. But next time, I'm going to give you a talking to. All I want to know right now is what's causing all of this since the food and herbs are normal. Let's see what everyone else has to say. Aaron, why do you keep looking west? In that direction are the upper reaches of the Taran River. I heard from the villagers that at the end of the river, there is a beautiful place called Taran Spring. Aaron, we don't have time to go gallivanting off to see some beautiful spring right now. Upstream of the Taran River. Don't all residents around here use the river water to make herbal remedies? That's right. Yes, I see what Aaron is thinking. Magister Merlin, you must have arrived at the same conclusion on the cause behind the villagers' illnesses. Yes, due to the corruption of the Lucentry, I suspect that the water source here has also been corrupted. Since the corrupted roots appeared, the inhabitants of the Dark Forest have avoided drinking the river water and thus have not experienced any ill effects. While the villagers here revere the Taran River as a magically divine river and drink directly from it, they've been absorbing corrupted magic all this time. If Taran Spring has truly been corrupted, the danger lies in where the river flows. Magister Merlin, we need to prioritize what's happening here and protect the people who live along the river. Since we're all so worried, why don't we just go check out the river's water source? We'll have to split up. These villagers still need our help. Lawson, you and I can stay here. Magister Merlin, 
I'll find a way to keep everyone calm until you return. Lawson can try to find a way around the guards. Chippy will stay and help too! That's great. I can always use another reliable helper. Don't worry, Magister. Chippy won't slack off while you're gone. Just hurry back! You're not even worth getting up for. Corruption is bad here. This is more foul than the corrupted roots. If there was no corruption here, this would be an idyllic place. The fish in the river look fresh. This type of fish is easy to cook. With its scales removed and some hexaflower juice, it would be delicious grilled over a fire. I'd be happy to. However, the river may be contaminated. It's best not to eat fish from this river just yet. The timing is unfortunate. I promise to cook for you when I get the chance. Even I didn't know Aaron was good at cooking. I'm not good at cooking. It's just a little bit of survival skills. I usually practice my swordplay in the deep mountains, so I cook enough to satisfy my needs. And that is how I gradually figured out how to make food go down easier. What a surprise! Mr. Aaron wouldn't be picky about food, but now I feel a little closer to you. What do you mean, Miss Hammy? Because you're always looking off into the distance. Even now, I feel like the distance between us is vast. Like the stars in the sky. Your description is very accurate. Right? After arriving at Terran Village, Aaron grew even more depressed, and that made me nervous for some reason. However, he was just able to relax a little. What's bothering you, Aaron? With Magister Merlin here, you have nothing to fear. Yes, he is powerful. However, I can't always rely on others. Dare I ask, have you ever relied on anyone? If you have never relied on anyone, you are unfit to respond. Brian? Take your time, Aaron, and ponder my words with a thoughtful heart. Let us share the cause of the ailment with the villagers for now. Lyca and the rest are waiting.
rise. Well, victory is deserved.
Come out, my son, and fight for me! The wind and frost unite as one. Every sword is a witness. Miss Arte, you've returned just in time. Is anyone hurt? We're fine, but the villagers are in danger. There are a couple of rabbit hornleaf bears in the village. They're scattered all over. We need to get rid of them right away. Okay, let's split up.
every sword is a witness. Every sword is a witness. Everything happened so suddenly. In one night, the earth was corrupted, and a sickness of the mind infected our villagers. Some even gained symptoms of extreme thirst. The normally docile Hornleaf bears attacked our village. What is happening in these Veduso mountains? What? This is even related to the Lucent Tree? The Lucent Tree is a sacred tree that was planted by Masate, the Wild Mother herself. How could it be corrupted by these cursed people? What has Aaron been doing? Um, I... This is... Oh, don't look so scared. That wasn't directed at you. I was talking about that clod named Aaron. Is he not the scion of the Lucent Tree? Why is he not doing his duty? This is unforgivable! Actually... Shh, don't explain. Elder. The extreme thirst that some villagers are exhibiting is due to drinking the river water. Terran Spring seems to have been infected by corruption, and the whole river has been tainted. What? The issue is with the river water? It makes sense now. Despite our best efforts, and no matter how much medicine we brewed, none were cured. If only Hewen were here. She's the best at treating strange maladies. Hewen lives in Lover's Wish. She is a water sprite who was born in the Taran River. That child is a little shy. She's also kind and sensitive to the world. She can't bear to see anyone suffer. She's also been secretly helping people for years. I wanted to seek her assistance after what happened here. But Hewen never answered our call. If the river has been corrupted as you claim, 
then our herbs and Hewin's dewdrops will be needed in order to cure everyone. Younglings, please go to Lover's Wish. Many villagers need attending. I cannot go there myself. If you are willing to help, then I, as the village elder, will repay the favor in the future. Please, assist us. Thank you. Just keep heading south, and you will find Lover's Wish. Good luck in finding Hewin. Did we go the wrong way? How can this be Lover's Wish? The corruption here is even worse than in Taran Village. The ley lines determine the flow of magic power. It's complicated as a river and just as hard to understand. It seems that the ley lines here are directly connected to the Lucent Tree. So the effects of the corruption are more pronounced here. What about this Miss Hewin that Granny Fennel was talking about? Since Lover's Wish has become like this, is she still around? The rain hasn't stopped. She is still here. Yes, the warm rain. This rain seems to wash away all the distracting thoughts in my heart. But where is she? There's not even a soul to be seen around here. Should we try calling her name? Granny Fennel said that she's very shy. Will it scare her away? I suggest not acting rashly. I feel a powerful magical presence coming from the pavilion at the center of the lake. Why don't we go there for? Miss Hewan, I know you're here. We've been tasked to ask for your help. In order to save the villagers, we require your dewdrops. I'm sorry. I... I can't leave. If the rain stops, the corruption will spread even more quickly. I can't stop it, but I can delay it. Don't push yourself, Miss Ewan. You sound exhausted. I'm afraid you won't be able to stop this corruption with your strength alone. If the rain stops, my friend... I must protect my friend. My friend is losing his memories. He will forget me and even become my enemy. Everyone, please. Save my friend. He's in the Floral Valley. He's gentle and fluffy, but right now, he's in a lot of pain. I will repay you. No matter what you need of me, I will help. 